Hello everyone! In this Java programming tutorial for beginners, you will learn more about getters and setters, encapsulation and access modifiers. I will provide a Java code example within Eclipse. For this example, we will have two classes, one called Hello World and one called Example. My main method will be called from Example. Within the class declaration for Hello World, create a new field. Type private string email address. It is recommended to use private fields most of the time. The reason for this is so that you can control the integrity of the data. Private is an access modifier which causes your field to be private from outside classes. This field email address is currently private from the example class. You can use public getter and setter methods to retrieve and set the data from outside of the fields class. Declaring a field as private and only allowing access through getter and setter methods is known as encapsulation or data hiding. Encapsulation is one of the four fundamental object-oriented programming concepts. Encapsulation is important not only to protect the data, but also for code maintainability. When you modify your code, you can do so without breaking the code of others who implement your class. Now let's get back to our code to demonstrate how encapsulation works by using private fields and public getter and setter methods. Next we will type our getter method. We will use the public access modifier which allows any class to access this method. Type public string get email address and within the curly braces type return email address. All this method does is access and return the email address field which is of type string so we are declaring the return type here. This method is known as a getter. We can also create a setter method. Type public void set email address and for the parameter a variable called email of type string within curly braces type this dot email address and set that to email. Getter and setter methods both must match the type of field that you are trying to get and set. Since email address is a string, set email address must accept a string as a parameter. We then set that string as the value of our email address field by using this dot email address. The this keyword refers to the object that is calling the method. So this object's email address is now set to whatever email address you passed in. Now within the example class, create a new object of the hello world class within the main method. Hello world, my object, set that to new hello world. Now because email address is a private field, we cannot access it directly with our object. Try typing myObject.email address and set it to a string containing an email address. The result is an exception that says the field hello world.email address is not visible. Now let's delete that line of code and replace it with myObject.set email address and within quotations set it to any string value that you like. I will just set mine to A. This is where using setter methods becomes useful. You can control how the data is set using the setter method. Obviously a string that just contains A is not an email address, but it is a string. So as our method is now, that is accepted. Back on our hello world class, let's change the set email address method. Type if and within parentheses email dot index of with the parentheses quotations and the at symbol and then the not operator which is an exclamation point and an equal sign and then negative one and close parentheses then in the curly braces this dot email address and set that to email 
After that, type else. And within the curly braces, throw, new, illegal argument exception. And then within the parentheses, a string, email address is invalid. If you watched my previous Java tutorials, then you already know about if else statements and the string method index of, but I will do a quick overview for those who don't. An if else statement evaluates an expression. Here I have highlighted the expression. If that expression results in a yes or true value, then the code within the if block is executed. Else, if it returns in a no or false value, then the code within the else block is executed. Index of is a string class method that searches a string for a specified value within the string. And if the value passed in is present, the index of method returns the index of the first character specified. So our expression is searching to see if the string contains the at symbol. The index of method will return negative one if our at symbol is not present within the string. So if our at symbol is not found within the string, then the result will be an exception, which will say email address is invalid. Let's try it now. Back on the example class, try running your program again with setting the email address to a string that does not contain the at symbol. You can see our exception here in the console, email address is invalid. Now if we try to set the email address again using an email address, it will set. Now let's use our getter method to print the value to our console. Type system.out.println address. and run your program. Your getter method has retrieved the email address that you set and system.out.println has printed the value to the console. I hope that this Java tutorial has helped you learn more about getters and setters, access modifiers, and, and encapsulation. Please subscribe to my channel Bootstrap CSS Curl and check out my Java programming playlist.